Today is November 29th. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. This is a familiar passage for many with two powerful images in it. A bruised reed and a smoldering wick. Imagine a plant growing tall that's broken halfway up. The top half is hanging down limply. Or imagine a candle that's just been snuffed out, still a few embers lit still smoking. These are images of who we are. We are tender, wounded, weak, and Isaiah tells us that even to those in these conditions, the Christ will bring forth justice. He'll bring forth hope. How does that make you feel? Jesus sees value in us, even in our weakness. And God is gentle and compassionate to us, even when we feel almost entirely burned out. Listen to the text again and try to rest in this truth of where our hope lies. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. Scripture tells us that it is the kindness of God that leads us to repentance. So as we end our time of prayer today, consider how radical that is, how upside down it is. 
and invite God to make you more into that kind of person, a person who is kind, who is compassionate, who is full of mercy. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Breathe.